Social posts on Amazon are super underrated and a lot of people just don't realize how important they are. I'm gonna tell you seven different ideas that you can run with, tips and tricks, if you will, on how to improve your social post games. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guide. Here is an example of some of the social posts that I've put together. You'll notice that you need to use pictures that you wouldn't necessarily have inside of your listing, right? So these are pictures that you wouldn't put in your photo stack up here, and this is tip number one. Use pictures that are not in your photo stack to get more relevant clicks, interests, and things like that. The second tip I'll give you is to take pictures with your cell phone. Pulling out pictures of your cell phone and using lifestyle shots showing the customer in use. Consider the fact that Amazon social post is basically Instagram for Amazon, right? There's no hashtags. They do have category IDs that do get tagged onto your post automatically. But if we take a look at New Wave Swim Buoy, he's one of my close friends here in the Georgia area, and he owns this brand, and it's just got so many different pictures of his product being used, right? Like This is the right way to do a lifestyle shot. These are the sort of things that are getting thousands and thousands of likes, impressions on Instagram, and here you can clearly see like it's just the same sort of feel and over and over and over again. Is that person holding a toad? Yeah, I think so. And, 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 and you can see like, here's the swim buoy in use after shot, after shot, after shot. Now this particular brand, a little bit easier to do because everybody wants to show off their swim bot. I get it, right? But there's just a, a consistent feed of the same shot over and over again. Your third tip is to put keywords into the post. Now I run multiple phases of SEO at my Amazon guy, four phases in fact. And we're always trying to index keywords for a product that is show up in the search results. Well, after you index, you want to rank them and then you want to take some market share. That's basically a high level summary of search engine optimization on Amazon. Well, to do that, you're going to need to put as many keywords as you can put together a master keyword list, if you will, and hand that over to the person who's going to come in here and create these social posts. In here, you can see all kinds of posts, including scheduled posts. It's always important to keep posts scheduled continuously within your Amazon social post feed. You don't want to go without having at least one post every two or three days. Ideally, I would do one or two a day if you have the capacity. Each of them is going to get different impression counts, engagement rates, and these numbers that you see on screen are pretty paltry. But if we look at some of the posts that we've had that have done really, really well, or even if you just take my paltry numbers for the last 90 days, that's 70,000 times somebody has seen one of my posts. 2,100 engagements, 359 clicks, and guess what? It's free. There's no cost to the Amazon social posts of any kind, uh, which is why you need to take advantage of this SEO element. There's going to be keywords inside of the post, right? So when if we go into one of these posts, for example, I'm just going to click one at random here. Smudging rituals are an excellent approach to clear space and avoid negativity in the area. Well, these are all keywords that we know that the consumer is using when they buy a product like this. Smudging, rituals, bundle, sage, these are the sort of things. Slow burning bundle. And these are words and phrases that could be also inside of the copy of the listing. Here's what it looks like when a consumer sees it and you can see you know, all of this information right there. The fourth tip is to tell stories, right? You do not want to be trying to sell your product in social posts on Amazon. In fact, the opposite is generally true. You want to tell the story. How am I using this product? How is it going to make me feel? I'm selling experiences, but I'm going to sell them in the form of stories. So just like we saw on the uh, social post from New Wave Swim Buoy, this tells a story. We got a dog, we're laying down here, right? Like it's very intuitive. Um, today's debate with the children and puppy is our new New Wave Swim Buoy towel, a fleece towel or a fleece like towel? My take the towel absorbs and dries unlike a fleece blanket. Sadie's take is the towel is comfortable and should just let her be, right? And so, like, this is very engaging tort sort of things that we were talking about. The consumer is going to think about the product. They can feel it. They can see the dog in the shot. They can see somebody relaxing and having a good time and all of that. Notice how here we can look through two different colors on the social post, which is also interesting by itself. They also talked about how this was a new product, 
right? Which gives you an opportunity to try and cross sell without directly selling and increase that average order value by showing off a new product to a consumer who doesn't even know you have that product live yet, but they're familiar with your brand. They've been to your post before. They've been to your Amazon store and they clicked on the post button like this, right? There's so many different locations somebody can find your post, which is why tip number five is where are your posts even showing up to begin with? Your brand's product listings. So that's where you saw uh, me on this listing right here. And I can scroll down and you can see at the bottom of the A plus content, right around the inspiration from the brand section right here. And you can see all these different social posts right there. That's the first location. The second is on the post location of your brand store. So here you can see I'm on the brand store. You can go to amazon.com slash age of sage. This is my own brand if you want to follow along. Click on the post section and you can see some of the posts right here. We've got our Mr. and Mrs. Cup right on the beach there trying to show off our Mr. and Mrs. Tumblr set. You can also be seen on related brands as well as category feeds, right? And so if I'm shopping on somebody else's product, so let's go to, I don't know, one of my competitors. Let's see if we can get something to pull up here. And I'm just gonna go click on, I don't know, this one right here. And that I'm clicking on an ad and I'm gonna scroll down and look at some of their social posts to see if my brand shows up. And it says the humble brands right there, not seeing my brand show up, but it can, especially on mobile. So that's another opportunity for you to show your products for free impressions on your competitor listings, just like it was an ad. The sixth tip is who is your customer avatar, right? Like, are you selling to three time divorce truck drivers? Are you gonna be talking about travel, safety, hygiene, and what it's like to be on the road, right? In your storytelling and your customer avatar. Are you selling something that can be eaten by both cats and dogs? Well, guess what? Cat lovers and dog lovers, they're not the same people. They're gonna butt some heads. So you may wanna pick one or the other and use your social posts to go all in on that one customer avatar. In my big masterclass on Amazon listing optimization, I spend 50 minutes talking about the customer avatar. You gotta watch this video next. This is a recent release, some of the best content I've ever put together, in fact, and I showcase like how to really optimize a listing with a customer avatar. Cross apply that over to social posts, you're gonna be in for a big win. And our last tip today, number seven, is understand that you need to test this stuff, right? Like you get full impressions data just like you wouldn't set up a $20,000 PPC campaign. Do you wanna say something, Sage? Are you, are you joining me today? My co-host here is getting a little snack going. Um, and as you can see on the screen here, there's a lot of different data that becomes available um, for the social posts, including the impressions, clicks, and in my ICAP marketing funnel, you can trace impressions, clicks, add to carts, and purchases, but only in social posts do you get the impressions, clicks, and engagements, as well as the reach, right? But if you wanna learn more about the ICAP marketing funnel, you can go over to myamazonguy.com slash ICAP or watch my ICAP marketing video next, which gives you a lot of ways on how you can improve and take control of your market share. We have a use case right here on how I tripled my market share. It's pretty powerful. But if we go back over to the social post section here, you can see all this data from impressions, engagements, and product clicks. And if you sort this and figure out, okay, which one has my best impressions? Well, it was this authentic plant post right here uh, and then some of my soap posts did pretty well and some of my incense. And so those ones that have the highest viewable impressions, you'll see some trends. Does it matter if you put more than one product in it? Does it matter how much you write in it? Does it matter what the photo is? These are all things that you're gonna get data to figure out what makes the most sense. You got clicks to the store, you got clicks to follow, people following the brand, the reach, all of this good data. So be sure to A-B test to see what's gonna perform best for your brand because you may get some different results. My name is Stephen Pope, I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy and my co-host here is Sage, which is why I named one of my brands Age of Sage. Check out my ICAP video next.